Hello, and thank you for taking the time to learn about uric acid kidney stones and what you can do to prevent them. Kidney stones are made from crystals that form in your kidney. Uric acid stones make up about 8 to 18 percent of all stones in adults. In this video, we will talk about how changes to your diet can help prevent more kidney stones from forming. Let's begin with the first goal. The best way to lower your risk of kidney stones is to drink lots of fluid. Crystals are less likely to form in urine that is not concentrated. Producing extra urine will help flush out small crystals before they form into larger stones. Aim to drink 2 to 3 liters, which is 8 to 12 cups of fluids each day. Water should make up at least half of the fluid you drink. Other drinks such as milk, coffee, tea, and juice count towards your fluid intake. The goal is to produce over 2 liters of urine per day. You can check to make sure your urine is pale in color. Drink more water on hot days and when you are physically active. And you need additional fluids if you have a fever, diarrhea, nausea, and vomiting. Talk to your doctor or dietitian if you have been told to restrict fluids. A low urine pH of less than 5.5 is the primary risk factor for uric acid stones. Low urine pH is associated with low urine citrate levels. Adding lemon juice to your water can increase urine citrate and decrease stone formation rate. You can add half a cup of lemon juice in two liters of water or one tablespoon of lemon juice per cup of water. Watch out if you have stomach ulcers and talk to your doctor about other options. Alcohol can contribute to increased uric acid production and delayed removal of uric acid through the kidneys. Beer, in particular, contains purines, which convert into uric acid and may contribute to increased uric acid stone formation. If you have a history of kidney stones, you should follow Canada's low-risk drinking guideline recommendations for alcohol consumption which are no more than two drinks a day for women, no more than three drinks a day for men. One alcoholic drink is considered to be a 12 ounce or 341 milliliter beer, cooler, or cider, a five ounce or 142 milliliter wine, a 1.5 ounce or 43 milliliter distilled alcohol, such as rye, gin, rum, etc. The next goal is to limit sodium or salt in your diet to less than 2,000 milligrams per day. That's less than one teaspoon per day. Salt is made up of sodium and chloride. Your body only needs a small amount of sodium per day. If you eat a lot of salt or sodium in foods, your risk of forming kidney stones increases. Here are some tips to have less salt in your diet. Choose less food that is processed, instant, pre-made, and canned. Most of the salt you eat is from processed foods, such as canned and pickled or preserved foods, deli meats and processed cheeses, frozen meals, powdered flavorings, and soups or broths. Limit fast food. When you go to a restaurant, ask the chef to prepare your food without adding salt. Use very little or no salt when cooking or seasoning foods. And season foods with lemon juice, herbs and spices, or Mrs. Dash instead of salt. Read food labels to help you choose foods lower in sodium. Foods that have a daily value 
for sodium of 5% or less are considered low salt. Our next tip is to eat less protein from animal foods. Animal protein provides a source of purines, which contributes to more uric acid in the urine and an increased acid load, which in turn lowers urinary pH. These factors together can increase the risk of forming uric acid kidney stones. Do not go on a high protein diet if you have kidney stones. The protein that affects your kidney stones is all protein from animal flesh, including poultry, red meat, fish, game meats, and organ meats, as well as foods such as eggs. Limit meat, fish, poultry, and eggs to two servings a day. One serving size is 2.5 ounces or 75 grams. This is the size of a deck of cards. Try to choose vegetarian sources of protein instead of meat, such as lentils, beans, or legumes. Certain foods are higher in purines, which can increase the risk of forming uric acid stones. You should aim to limit foods that are high in purines, for example, beverages like beer and other alcoholic beverages, fats and oils such as gravies and sauces made with meat, protein options such as anchovies, sardines, herring, mussels, tuna, codfish, scallops, trout, haddock, bacon, organ meats such as liver, kidney, and heart, tripe, sweetbreads, wild game, and goose, and other foods like yeast and yeast extracts taken as supplements should be avoided as they are high in purines. Fruits and vegetables can help prevent uric acid stones from forming because of their potential impact on urine volume, potassium, and pH. Aim to have one to two servings of fruits or vegetables at every meal and snack. Examples of a serving of fruit or vegetable include half a cup of vegetables that are fresh, frozen, or canned, or half a cup of leafy greens that are cooked, one cup of leafy greens which are raw, half a cup of mashed or diced squash or sliced carrots, one medium fruit such as an apple, orange, peach, or pear, or one large kiwi, for example. These can all help to prevent your risk of forming kidney stones. Try eating a range of vegetables that are different in color, taste, and texture, and choose vegetables and fruit prepared with little or no added fat, sugar, or salt. Some studies have shown an increased risk of kidney stones in people with excess body weight. Weight loss may help prevent stones if you are overweight. Measure your waist circumference in line with your belly button. For men, a waist circumference of greater than 102 centimeters or 40 inches is considered high risk. And for women, a waist circumference of greater than 88 centimeters or 35 inches is considered high risk. Here's a summary of diet goals. Number one, drink more than 2.5 liters of water per day, ideally with lemon juice added. Number two, eat less salt, ideally less than 2,000 milligrams of sodium per day. Number three, eat less protein from animal foods and aim to limit foods that are high in purines. 
And number four, aim for a healthy body weight. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about what was discussed in this video, please contact us or check out our website for more information.